Hello YouTube and today I will be showing you this thing that has come out with the iPad 2 as many of you have probably read about um yeah people are, are reporting that some iPad 2s exhibit some kind of light bleeding or leakage once you have a very dark image so here so that's what you can see I'm not like joking or anything it is an iPad 2 you can see my unboxing video etc etc right and it's white I don't know if that really makes any difference but just put that out there right so I'm going to show you how light leaks, so here, I got a completely black image, and I'm going to turn down the light, you can even notice it here a bit, but here, with absolutely no light, you can notice at the sides, I don't know if it, you can tell by the camera I'm using it with, I'm using an iPhone, so, yeah, but from far away, you can tell that in the lower portion of the screen, it's like a yellowish tint, and that all has to do with the light leakage from here. You can see it a little bit there. And people have, you know, said that if you put down the the the, the brightness, you might not notice it. But if you put the brightness all the way down, I still notice it slightly. I don't know if you can capture this on camera. Because you can barely, you can't even notice it. You don't even notice it. There's an iPad there. Let me see if I can turn flash on. Example. I doubt this will help. But, yeah, as you can tell, here it is. The screen is on. And... Yeah, I, I doubt turning flash on helps at all, but yeah, but still, it still is exhibited slightly in terms of the light leakage, leakage, and people are saying that it's present on an iPad, but honestly, I noticed it the moment I turned on this iPad, and I was like, I, it was like 7 o'clock, and it was not that much light, I noticed it instantaneously, because I usually spot these kind of stuff, but yeah, I noticed instantaneously that at the bottom there was some kind of a light leakage. At the beginning, I thought it was that bonding agent that the, that some other iPads have, that the digitizer and the LCD haven't bonded yet with the with the adhesive they used. But yeah, I I quickly noticed that yeah, it had to do with the light leakage. I mean, honestly, this isn't much of a big deal. It's not like antenna gate that happened with the iPhone four, but certainly it's uh, some a little con in terms of the iPad too. So yeah, I, it just in any way does not you know take anything from the usage or the usability of the iPad. Everything still works perfectly, but yeah, that's something you have to get through to people, yeah, at least that way you know. And so yeah, thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, check out all my other videos, and yeah, have a nice day, love you people in the home, goodbye, peace out.